Lake Powell recently saw its lowest level, nearly 50 years after it was filled. The lake's seasonal increase in water levels has since started. According to information from the Bureau of Reclamation, on March 13, Lake Powell reached a new low of 3,520.46 feet. Nonetheless, the lake's water level rose by slightly under half a foot over the course of the next eight days as more water flowed into the lake than out of it. The surge represents the lake's first period of steady growth since May of last year. The U.S. Southwest has recently had historically high quantities of rain and snow, which may have sped up Lake Powell's seasonal rise. According to statistics from the U.S. Geological Survey, the lake typically doesn't start experiencing more inflow than outtake until the mountain snow starts to melt in mid-May. It's uncertain how much the lake and the Colorado River as a whole will be impacted by the exceptionally wet winter that just ended. Yet, given that practically every state in the upper and lower river basins is reporting triple-digit percent above-average moisture, a beneficial effect can be anticipated. Time will tell how much of a boost summer snowmelt will provide to the arid southwest when spring begins.